<laughs> oh no. Okay. I, I'm a little worried. Look how close we are. Look how close we are. Come on, the pig is yours. Just a few more steps. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. This map right here is called Hype Bomb Madness. First up, we have Coward Co. All he has to do is walk to the other side without being hit by the hype balls right here. Oh no, he came back. Coward Co is dead. Of course, he didn't stand a chance. Next up, we have King Kung. Now, of course, he weighs a lot more. So hopefully, he should be all right. Oh, they're going to explode. Oh, no. There's four hype balls around him. No! If he's still alive, he might be able to make it. He's not. He's, he's dead. So although I'm not really a big fan of these Crypto Bro units, the new ones that came out in the recent update, I have to say, in this map, they are very, very fun. So this map was actually made by someone called Agent, and my elephant is, is dead. So let's go for the hill jump instead but we're actually checking out a few of agents maps because well he has some really really awesome maps oh no is he dead he's dead you know what i reckon the werewolf here actually might stand a chance because he's pretty quick if he can outrun the hype balls he might just do it yes no no he got the closest so far though he was doing so well i reckon the t-rex has got it you know he's, he's pretty quick somewhat he's strong the explosions shouldn't cause too much damage to him and i think he's done it yes He's through into the house. He's done it. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing to him? You can't eat that. You can't eat the castle. Wait, what? We lost? Oh, did one of the hype balls come through the door? Go, lava golem, go. Turn into a ball. Uh-oh. He's not going to do it, is he? <laughs> Uh, what a terrible idea that was. Moving on to the next map. This right here is Spike Squash. Whoa. <laughs> and Coward Cole is demonstrating what this map is all about. So essentially, the unit that we place here has to make it all the way to the finish line without being crushed or impaled by the spikes. And there's a lot of spikes, as you can see. Only the strongest and fastest units will make it, unlike this one. Well, I've just realized if I double right click... They actually go a little faster. So I probably should have done that more in the last map. I did it a few times towards the end. So no wonder so many units haven't made it across because they're just walking casually. Oh, look, the spider. It's pretty quick. Come on, keep going, spider. No, so close. Look at that. Oh, man. That could have been our first unit to make it across the finish line. The Titan of Bow is pretty quick, right? Yes, come on. No, oh, man. There is no escaping these spikes. Oh, and he's still getting crushed and impaled. Not a nice way to go. Right, Goru, you're up. I can already tell he's going to get crushed. He's going way too slow. Oh, but he's still alive. Can he outrun the spikes? I mean, he's... No, he can't. He's already impaled. There's no escaping that, is there? Even, even if he did survive, he still wouldn't be able to go forward. He would just keep getting crushed. Look at this. <laughs> oh, no. Poor Goru. I'll be honest, I am losing hope for any animal to cross the finish line. But next up, we have the rhino. I mean, they're very quick, aren't they? Yeah, look at him go. Come on. Come on. Yes, he's done it. He's done it by a mile. Easy victory to the rhino. Finally. Great white shark is up next. No, it's swimming so slowly. No. <laughs> That's right. A great white shark swimming on land somehow. So I know what you're thinking. You're all probably thinking, is this video just going to be about Matt? And well, yeah, pretty much. But I do also have this installed. This is called the Destroyer. So I thought I might as well check him out as well. Let's see if he can outrun the spikes. Oh, he's attacking back. Oh, the spikes are going backwards. I didn't even think that was possible. He's done it. And that right there is why he is called the Destroyer. But can it destroy the Kaiju Smasher? Let's find out. So yeah, it might be a little bit laggy. This is probably not a good map to try this on. Whoa. Okay, well, uh, I think the Kaiju Smasher is dead. Yep, he's, he's definitely dead. The Destroyer has won. Speaking of custom units, let's see if Gary can do the course. He's attacking the machine and he's he's fallen off the bridge. Right. Well, he avoided the spike, so I guess that's a victory, right? And he's also dead. The drop killed Gary. Right. I've got the Ankylosaurus here. Uh, can't really pronounce it. Can he survive? No. But his shell. <gasps> Yes. No. Oh, that's actually why I spawned him in because of his armor. I thought maybe he might just be able to survive the spikes. And he did for a moment there anyway. Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. Ankylodetosaurus. <laughs> 
Yes, I have to try this. This right here is the Brachiosaurus. This guy is going to die so quick from the spikes. Now is not a good time to be tall. No. Oh, he's still alive. Come on. His head has been impaled by the spikes, but he's still going. And now he's dead. Oh, man. He survived longer than I thought he would. I thought that would just instantly snap his neck and impale him and he died. But again, he survived for a little longer than expected. And now his head is by his foot. I'm having way too much fun on this map. Oh, this time. Dinosaur might be able to make it. Come on. Come on, little fella. Yes. Easy. Easy victory. But we are not done there just yet with the maps. This one was also made by Agent. This is Claws of Death. Basically a death run. Essentially, our unit has to make it to the pig and I'm pretty sure kill it without falling down one of these holes here or being clawed by a bunch of scourges. Okay, here we go. Hill Giant is up first. Can he survive the scourge units? Oh, oh no, he's fallen down the pit. No. Oh, oh, this map is actually insane. Feels like it's something out of a horror movie. We forgot to try Coward Cole first though. He was supposed to be our test subject. He's definitely gonna die. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh, oh, he's doing it. He's pretty light. Oh, no, no. He's gonna get dragged in. He's still alive. How is he doing this? Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Oh, the claw came out and he's dead. Death by falling though. So I do feel like the larger units might stand a better chance. Maybe not the hippo though. He's probably gonna be way too heavy and fall down, right? Ooh, yep. Oh, oh no. Oh, this map is brutal. I'd say this is my favorite one out of the three we've played so far. Oh, here we go. Come on, giraffe. No. No! Oh no! Oh, look how brutal that was. The way his neck just snapped in the hole. Oh, and he's still getting killed now. Oh, no. Come on, Tiger. You're fast. You can just run over the holes, right? Yep, that's it. There we go. Come on. Come on, keep going, keep going. No, we're good. We're good. This is the best so far. Best run so far. No, he's been hit by a claw and he's dead. And now, what? How is he doing that? He's died like that somehow. That is very strange. I say we give the tiger another shot though. Definitely the closest so far. Okay, come on. Try and get further this time. Yep, so far so good. Come on. No, no. It's so aggressive when they pull the enemies in. Giant beetle, you're up. So we have quite a lot of legs here, which could be very useful. And it's quite a wide stance, I guess. <gasps> or maybe not useful at all. Ooh, still in the fight though. Still in the fight. Nope. Oh no. Now it's dead. The giant praying mantis. There's no way this guy is falling through the hole. He's way too large, but he could still get stabbed by the claws. He looks like he's off course a little bit here. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. It's fine. He's still going. Still going. Yeah, I think we're fine. Look at this. Easy. We're going to kill that pig. We're going to do it. No, please. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I, I'm a little worried. Look how close we are. Look how close we are. Come on, the pig is yours. Just a few more steps. No. Yes. We've done it. Kill the pig. Yes. The first unit to cross the bridge. I wonder if any dinosaurs can make it. So up first, we have some carnivores going up. Let's see. They're pretty quick, as you can tell. Ooh. But they cannot avoid the claws. Now we've got the Carnotaurus with its very, very tiny hands. And it's already stuck in the first pit. About to be dragged in by a scourge unit. Yeah, there we go. Rest in peace, buddy. You know what? Let's just go for the almighty T-Rex. I have high hopes for this guy. I reckon he can do it. Come on. No, he completed the first map, right? Why can't you do this one? It's only a few scourge units. <laughs> he's too large. There's no way he's going down in that hole. There he is dead. Herbivores, you're up. Yes, just headbutt the scourge units. <gasps> there we go. Yes. No, no, no. Okay, so I have a bit of a game plan with this one. Let's see if we follow this line here. It's probably actually not going to do anything for us. If anything, that's probably worse, but we're going to try it anyway. So instead of going directly down the middle, we're going this way. Although it looks like the Stegosaurus is moving the path a little bit. Okay, okay, get up. Come on, no, no, don't fall off. I had high hopes for you. Oh, he's going to die. Okay, well, now there's nothing we can do. Okay. So same unit, but this time stick to the original path. And that does nothing. If anything, it's a lot worse. And he's going to get pulled in. Nope. Oh, we got a fighter. We got ourselves a fighter. He's going to get up. 
And he's gonna take out the bit. He's dead, isn't it? Yeah, he's he's dead. Everyone loves the Triceratops, right? So because everyone loves him, he's gonna make it across to the pig. He actually might. Look at him go. Oh my goodness, he's so quick. He's doing it. Come on. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, we've done it. Oh, and the pig has been impaled. What an ending. Look at that. Wow. That was the best moment in this entire video. Oh, no, it's too late, buddy. It's too late. Put that claw back down. It's too late. You can't get to me now. Right, can he go twice in a row? Let's see. Was that just luck or was it skill? Oh, you know what? I think that... Yeah, he's got it. The Triceratops. Look at him go. What an absolute beast. What if we change the course a little bit so we're on the left side a bit more now? Oh, no. So you look... Now he's getting stuck a bit. Oh, there's the claws. And down he goes. Oh, death. Da, 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 da. We have the Brachiosaurus, who's definitely going to make it across. Oh, look at that. Back legs in that hole. Front legs in that one. It doesn't stand a chance. So, yeah. A lot of maps in this episode. Big shout out to Agent for making these maps. I am also taking suggestions still, so make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. But on that note, I am going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!